Welcome to the start. We're at the Diamond Challenge Schools. We have Peter Kaminsky versus Hamish Harding on the right hand side of your screen. Amazing sound there. You can hear the puddles of two scullers as they go really hard off the start. The big noise of the umpires, uh, the, uh, the engine on the umpires launch that's following on. Amazing cacophony of sounds we come off the start. And the scullers, interesting, uh, many of the scullers on the right hand side of our picture at what we call the Buckinghamshire station, just drifting over to the left towards the centre of the course as the wind uh, catches them as they leave the top of the island. Both scullers neck and neck though as we come to the quarter mile signal of the course. And if you're joining us from Australia, uh, welcome to the English summer. It's quite a, as you might have, it's a typical rainy uh, summer's afternoon here. Quite challenging conditions, particularly for single skulls. It's breezy, a little bit choppy of the water, particularly in the middle of the course. It's quite difficult for skullers to navigate all the way down the 2,112 metres of the Henley World Regatta course today. And we should point out here, this is there's two weight categories in rowing, heavyweight, which you can be as heavy as you want to be, and lightweight, where you have to be under 70 kilos. So this is a mixture of the heavyweight Polish rower you see in the red and the white, the Pramunski and Harding, of Australia, who's a lightweight. So this is the heavyweight rower you see here. International rower, this is an international rower whose full-time job is to row as fast as he can. But you can see Hamish Harding's not letting him go. He's the lightweight, so you normally would put a bit more power down if you've got a bit extra weight. But some great racing there from these two single scullers. I love his catch. He locks on really efficiently. There's nothing wasted in that stroke, is it? I mean, these are, these are what we'd call heavyweight conditions. So stream coming down into a headwind, you think it would favour the heavyweight athlete. Although the Henley record book suggests many lightweights have. Uh, um, caught out, especially in the single skulls, that they're heavyweight opposition. It's repetitive, it's in a rhythm. You just got to keep grinding away at it. Quite relaxed there in the face, Peter Blinsky. Don't let that fool you, this is painful. Yeah, it's painful after a couple of hundred meters, let alone the 260 or 270 strokes these skullers uh, are going to need to do to get to the finish. Great view down the course there. Three minutes, 57 seconds to the Fawley marker that we saw in the background there. That's a bit of indication of the conditions quite slow today. Hard work for these scholars, but doing a brilliant job. Hamish Harding doing a good job there to go through this bounce. But as we look at it now, we've come past the remnant. We're coming to this final third of the race. Minsky there is broken clear water, the more experienced heavyweight who's going to try and qualify this boat for the Paris Olympics, that's his aim. Single sculler for Poland right now. We've seen a lot of Polish boats here, it's great to have them here at the regatta. We love to have the international crews coming across, adding a bit of flavour of Europe to our Henley on Thames bit of stretch of water. That's part of the tapestry of the event, isn't it? We have you know, people from all over the world. And, you know, and they're welcomed in open arms, not just from Europe, obviously, but Australia and America. They come year on, year out, and it's, yeah, it's all part of the event. Steering warning there. We heard from the coaching boat behind. Sarah Winkless has certainly got her flag down now. She's just looking on, making sure, there's Sarah, making sure nobody's doing anything untoward. See the timers at the back of the boat there, making sure all the times are correct and written down to go into the history books but that's an easy job for Sarah that's she looks on these single scholars being in the boat from the best uh, best views you get it's the best view in the house there's 13 people out in the launch so the umpire there's uh, eight guests the driver and the three people at the back one's doing the race reporting and uh, part of the commentary team the two timekeepers and those records go back all the way to the start of the regatta there's the umpire launches behind looking on looking at Hamish Harding a little nod from Sarah, making sure she's keeping her eyes on both these scholars. Ben Hunt Davis there in the pink tie, Olympic champion, Sydney men's eight. He's the steward of Henley. As we come into the closing stages, it's Peter Plaminski of Poland. Has an opportunity to take it down a little bit now. He conserves energy, he's got two more races this weekend, hopefully, until they can 
play in the title, take the famous diamond skulls, but he's got a few harder races ahead of him and you want to conserve as much as possible. He comes over this bounce. You'll hear the beep telling him he's finished. A little look down and it's a win. Blavinsky of Poland over Harding, Australia in a diamond challenge skulls.